Hey, hey, howdy y'all. It's David with the Country Boy Computers BG. Welcome back to the channel. So if you're following along, if you're not following along, yesterday uh, we tested the Vegas 64 card. We did the Frontier series card, which is a 16 gigabyte uh, version of the Vegas 64, and then we threw a normal 8 gigabyte version in on top of that for the 32 billion parameter uh, model. And I gave you a little sneak peek of my box here which I purchased a few weeks ago and haven't showed you. This is the Radian 7, which is nearly the identical tech specs as the Vega 64, with the exception that this has a 4,096-bit bus width versus the 2048 of the Vega 64. So its memory bandwidth is over a terabyte a second, which is way up there. So I'm really excited to test these on our system. So I'm going to do today, this is a 16 gigabyte card. I'll do the first test solo uh, of the 14 billion model and then I'll throw a second card on there because our X870E Tai Chi Lite only does have the two uh, GPU slots. But both of them are added to the CPU uh, theoretically for maximum bandwidth and communication speeds. But we're going to test that next week versus our X99 platform. So let's get started. All right, we got our first correction, our second card loaded up. So I loaded this thing up there, or in there, and my goodness, see if you can hear this. It's mainly this fan. It was a racket, so we're not gonna be listening to that today. I'll work on that later. Uh, but anyway, we got our first Radian 7 booted up. We are going to start the serve. And we can get our hands working here. We will launch the script, which simply loads the model and asks the model to explain the fundamentals of quantum physics, etc., etc., building a large quantum computer and then it will just sit back and wait for a full response from the model in this case it's the Quinn 14 B that we're running and we've got the Radian 7 booting up here running full speed 10 gigs of the 16 utilized and hopefully with this triple fan unit, we don't get the throttling that we got yesterday. So we're going to let it do its thing here. And get you the 385 watts. Alright. She's cruising. I'll be back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are wrapping up our last test here. 375 watts. Sorry, I got my neck band caught on my keyboard. It is cruising. It is not throttling. And look at this. 14 billion parameter Quinn 3. 35, 34 tokens a second. And what I did not tell you all is I bought four of these. I offered the seller $155 per card. So the Radian 7s were a big flop, honestly, when they came out. Their performance for gaming was quite terrible. But I will tell you this, for running an LLM, there's no better card for your money right now from what I've tested. 35 tokens a second the single card 155 bucks with proper cooling and no uh, shoddy fan setup like yesterday on those uh, well yesterday was the Vegas but the one before that I did the Radeon Instinct in my 50s and that uh, squirrel cage fan setup was a gimmick so anyway Vegas 7 thumbs up all right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our dual card set up. Can you hear it? 
the second card's also got a little bit of a fan wobble to it. And I'm a stickler for that. I'm OCD. I don't know. I can't stand fan noise. I like them quiet. I already got the server running. Let's launch the benchmark. Get into it. Let's see what two of these will do. Ten point eight gigs on there on the second car. Ten point nine on the first, and listen to it. Oh man! All right, eBay seller, we're gonna have some communication, but the card is working. Woo! You ain't gonna be able to live with that though. All right, we're finishing up that last run. 450 watts with two Radian 7s from 19, no, I think they're about five years old, 2019 or so. And it's not bad, guys, not bad at all, guys and gals, sorry. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, I ran this benchmark with two RTX 5070s. That's the Blackwell architecture. Now each of those is a 12 gig model, but still the 32B fit on there plus all the cache, etc. And if my memory serves me correct, don't quote me, I think they pulled 18 tokens a second. But over here, it's Gen 3, 8 lanes each, direct to the CPU. Response time is two and a half, then less than two, then a minute and 37. Really good on that fourth run. And it is just finishing up here. Consensus, great deal. I got a great deal. I'm happy. I got a great deal. $155 for a 16 gigabyte card that by itself will pull 35 tokens a second on a 14B and you throw two of them in there and you get 15, 16 tokens a second on a 32 billion model. Really good, really good. Radian 7's Country Boy, thumbs up.